by the name of Allah, who is the most compassionate and the most merciful. Dear students, I hope that you are fine and healthy and God bless all of you from danger. Today, uh, our lesson is Unit 3 and this is Rajasthan University Computer Science Faculty English Language Subject. The book which is uh, in this program is Infotech English Unit 3 and this is Ali Muhammad Hikmat English Language Lecturer 1399 Okay uh, What do we do in this unit? There are some topics that we will study What are these topics? The CPU the main memory, basses, and cards. Units of memory, your ideal computer system. These are the topics that we are going to discuss in this unit. Learning objective. What should we do and uh, what we will learn from this unit? Uh, to understand the structure and function of the CP CPU, to distinguish between RAM and, and ROM, to understand how memory is measured, it means bits, bytes, KB, MB, JB, and TB. What are these expressions? Uh, to use relative pronoun correctly, to revise the basic component of a computer, and uh, language grammar contextual reference defining relative clause we will talk about relative clause in grammar section and in vocabulary we will learn these kind of vocabularies processor chip control unit uh, arithmetic logical unit register expansion slot uh, motherboard expansion card system clock bus bus width main memory gigahertz uh, abbreviation and acronym cpu alu ram rom gigahertz d d dim or d i w m bios bit kb mb gb tb uh, asc double l okay and uh, C I uh, uh, skills listening uh, transferring information from the description to a diagram in a speak speaking section we can we should describing one's uh, ideal like uh, computer system we have to have the ability to describe one's ideal computer system and in reading section we have uh, understanding uh, specific information and in writing system a uh, writing uh, section making notes about one's ideal computer uh, an optional matter a real processor chip memory chips ac uh, acc asc double i co chart and technical help is given on page 19 you can see page 19 uh, on your book okay this is unit 3 inside the system this is the uh, entire or the general topic of the uh, lesson and uh, the first topic of this lesson is technical specification what is specification it means uh, characteristic of uh, technical characteristic uh, read the advertisement and translate the technical specification into your own language you can translate these uh, expressions into your own language it means you can translate it in Persian or in diary uh, your native language uh, how to translate Dylan Inspiration 2009 uh, 9200 Intel Code 
go to do a process at 2.4 JB gigahertz uh, 2048 MB RAM expandable to 4 JB 500 JB hard drive comes with Windows Vista home premium if you can translate it uh, uh, once uh, please uh, try maybe it is possible or maybe it is not possible to translate in your own language then we have uh, answer these questions if necessary look at the glossary glossary is at the end of the book I you have the PDF of the book and you can check the glossary what is the main function of a computer process see here we have uh, three questions i read these three questions and the next slide you can see the possible answer for these three questions the first question is what is the main function of the computer process the second question is what unit of frequency is used to measure process sir, speed and uh, no, uh, question number three what does ram stand for uh, uh, and uh, the next uh, next uh, questions we have 10 questions here what is inside a pc system uh, you can also check the answer of this these uh, questions in the next slide uh, read the text and on page 12 and then answer this question you can uh, read the, on page 12 of your book and answer this question very easily uh, I read the questions please listen very carefully what are the main parts of the CPU the first question the second what does ALU stand for it means what is ALU what is A what is L and what is you what does it do uh, and what is the function of that uh, what is the function of the system clock how much is 1 gigahertz what type of memory is temporary what type of memory is permanent and including instruction needed by the CPU how can RAM be increased what term is used to refer to the main uh, Printed circuit board. What is the bus? What is the uh, benefit of having expansion slot? These are the questions you can uh, see the, the answer of these questions here. The first three questions are here. Uh, answer are here, and this uh, and the uh, and the tenth uh, answer of the questions are here. For example. The first question, the control unit, the ALU, and the registration. What, what does ALU stand for? Ar arithmetic logical unit. Now you can read it by yourself and, and match it with the questions. Okay. And then we have here, we have another exercise. And in this exercise, we can see that uh, look at this extract from the text what do the word in bold refer to what are these bold words refer to this switch that it's it each other like this uh, we can see here the, the answer key for example this is built into a single chip you can see line number two and you can find this and here is the answer the CPU or central processing unit here is the answer key and you can answer these uh, you can practice these exercise okay here we have uh, uh, the vocabulary section uh, I will translate these vocabulary and please have a pen and paper and notice these vocabularies single chip single chip chip a warhead Ex execute or execute execute anjom dadan an instruction hedayat coordinate hamahangi kardan take place jaba jaba kardan consist of 
شامل بودن interpret تفسیر کردن rest of باقی مانده track راه روش um, performance انجام دادن determine تعریف کردن interval مداخله کردن measure اندازه گیری demand تقاضا true uh, توسطی volatile volatile موقتی non volatile دائمی capacity ظرفیت expand وسیع transmit انتقال capability ظرفیت expansion وسعت بخشیدن وسیع ساختن اوکی here is the reading we have the reading section what is inside a PCA I read the reading section very carefully please listen very carefully and look at the converse uh, at, uh, look at the pronunciation if you have any difficulty listen again and again and you can uh, practice by yourself uh, processing the nerve center of a PC is a processor also called the CPU or central processing unit this is built into a single chip which ex execute program uh, instruction and coordinate the activities that take place within the computer system the chip itself is a small piece of silicon with a complex electrical circuit called an integrated circuit the processor consists of three main parts the control unit examine the instruction in the user program interpret each instruction and cause the circuit and the rest of the component monitor disk drive etc to execute the function specify it ALU ALU the arithmetic logical unit performs mathematical calculation uh, uh, plus minus or etc and logical operation and or not and or not uh, the register registers are high speed unit of memory used to store and control data one of the register the program counter or PC keeps track of the next instruction to be performed in the main memory. The other, the instruction register or IR. IR it means instruction register. Hold the instruction that is being executed. What are the three uh, main parts of a processing unit the first one control unit the second one arithmetic logical unit and the third one is register okay I hope that you understand it let's go to the next slide here we have the next part of the reading the power and performance of computer is partly determined by the speed of the processor a system clock a system clock sent out signal at first uh, at fixed interval for measure and synchronize the flow of data clock speed is measured in gigahertz for example a cpu running at gigahertz 4000 million hertz or cycle per second will enable your PC to handle the most demanding application see there is a difference between system clock and clock speed a system clock send the signal uh, at fixed interval to measure the synchronized follow flow of data and the um, clock speed is measured in gigahertz for example a CPU running in gigahertz for well enable P, your PC to uh, handle the most determining application 
what is the difference between RAM and ROM? The program and data which pass through the processor must be loaded into main memory in order to be processed. Therefore, then the user ran a program, the CPU looks for it on the hard disk and transfer a copy into a RAM chips. RAM, it means random access memory is volatile, volatile marketing. Uh, that is, its information is lost when the computer is turning on. However, ROM reads only memory, RAM, random access memory, and ROM read only memory is not volatile. Containing an instruction and routing for the basic operation of the CPU, the BIOS. It means basic input and output system. It uses ROM to control communication with peripherals. RAM capacity can be expanded by adding extra chips. How we can expand? We can use extra chips and it, 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 the capacity can be expanded. Usually containing in a small circuit board called dual inline memory modules dual inline memory modules d dual i n memory modules here is the uh, a picture of the of a ram chip buses and cars the main circuit board inside your computer is called the motherboard. If there is a question what is a motherboard, you can say that the main circuit board inside your, your system is called the motherboard and contains the processor, the memory chips expansion slots and control for peripherals connected by buses. Electrical channel who channels who allow devices inside the computer to communicate with each other. For example, the front side bus carries all data that passes from the CPU to other devices. Understand? Let's go to the next slide. Here is the rest of the reading. The size of the bus called bus weight and determine how much data can be transmitted this uh, bus weight uh, how much data can be transmitted it can be compared to the number of lanes on motorway the larger the weight the more data can travel along the bus for example a 64 bit bus can transmit 64 bits of data Expansion slot. What is an expansion slot? An expansion slot allow user to install expansion core, adding features like sound, memory, and network capabilities. Okay. Now, here we have the pictures. Central processing unit, CPU. Control unit, arithmetic logical unit, ALU, register 001. These are the okay main memory like this. Figure one organization organization of simple computer. This is the organization of simple computer. How how a simple computer is made, and how the language is stored for me in uh, in in a computer. In a simple computer, we can see here 1 and 0 is the language of the computer, it's the code. Okay. Uh, here we have grammar section. In this grammar section, we study about clause. What is clause? I define a clause here very short and easy. You can you can memorize, you can see, and you can notice these this definition clause is a group of words contain a subject and a predicate 
what is a subject subject is the doer of an action the starter of a, of a sentence is called a subject and predicate verb with complement is called predicate uh, in Persian, if, if I translate the subject khabar, subject mabda, wa predicatum khabar. Okay. How many clauses do you have? Here is a question. It's very important. We have two kinds of clauses. One, main clause or independent clause. Clause qazia ya jumla. Main clause or independent clause. Qazias li yake mustaqil. Subordinate clause or dependent clause. Qazie farai ya wabasta. These dependent clause are also called relative clause, adjective clause, adverb clause, and noun clause. These are the name of the dependent clause or subordinate clause. Okay, what is independent clause then? We have studied that clause divided into two categories, main clause or independent clause. And what is independent clause? An independent clause is a complete sentence. It has a complete meaning. It can stand alone. Oh, okay. What is dependent clause? Uh, a subordinate or depend clause is not a complete sentence. It cannot stand alone. It doesn't have a complete meaning. It needs an independent clause. Here is, here is an example if I write like this. See? Example. Okay. Let me write an example. Uh, I uh, met Ahmad. Very easy. I met Ahmad. This is a complete sentence. It, it can stand alone. Or uh, here, if I write like this, when I went to city uh, it doesn't have any meaning it 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 has a meaning but it is not a complete meaning if if i like say like this i met ahmad when i went to city then it become uh, a complete sentence from two clauses one support one uh, independent clause and a dependent clause. Okay. Let's go to the next part. Uh, here is help box. Defining relative clause. We can define people or think with defining a restrictive relative clause. We use the relative pronoun who to refer to the person. We can also use that. Who and that can be referred to the person a blogger example here a blogger is a person who or a blogger is a person that keeps a web blog it means blog or publish an online diary uh, we use the relative pronoun which or that to refer to the thing not a person this is uh, this is built into a single chip this is a, the, the example this is built into a single chip which or that execute program instruction and coordinate the activities that take place within the computer system relative pronoun can be left out when they are they are the object of the relative clause the main circuit board which or that you have inside your computer is called the motherboard you can you can remove it you can lift it out for example the main circuit board you have inside your computer is called the motherboard because these are 
extras you can use it and you can remove it okay language work define relative clause look at the help box and, and then complete the sentence below with suitable relative pronoun give alternative option if possible put brackets around the relative pronoun you can you can leave out this is your homework and you can see the answer key here you can uh, fill in the blanks with these pronouns relative pronouns okay what do we have another is uh, in another section uh, in section 4 how memory is measured this is a question read the text and then answer these questions uh, you can read the text and answer this question how digit does a binary system use or how many digits does a binary system use what is a bit what is the collection of eight bits called what does a c c double i stand for what is the purpose of a s c i double i these are the questions you can uh, uh, see the answer here and you should uh, read this text and answer that those uh, the above questions uh, I read the text please listen very carefully computer dual collection calculation using a code made of just two numbers 0 and 1 this just this system is called binary code the electronic uh, circuit is a digital computer detect the difference between two states on the on the current passes through o on 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 the current passes through or off the current doesn't pass through and represent these state as one or zero each one or zero is called a binary digit or bit bit are grouped into eight digit code that typically represent uh, characters it means letter number and symbol eight bits together are called a byte thus each character on a keyboard has its own arrangement of eight bits for example uh, zero one zero 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 like this one the the letter a the letter a the code for letter a is zero one zero 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 one zero for b and and like this the c for example this is a and this is the code for this is the code for A. This is the code for letter B. And this is the code for letter C. It means that computer understand the letter A like this. And uh, a computer understand uh, or read the code for letter B like this. And letter C like this. Okay. Computer use standard code for the binary presentation of characters. This is the American standard code for information interchange or A S C double I pronounced uh, pronoun as key. This is this is uh, read as key. In order to provide what is as key standard American standard code for information interchange okay in order to avoid complex calculation of byte we use bigger units such as kilobyte megabyte and gigabyte we use these units to describe the RAM memory the storage capacity of disk and the size of the program or document note bit is pronounced bit byte is pronounced like this 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 is the phonetic symbol of bit and this is the phonetic symbol of 
byte. Okay, here we can see unit unit of memory abbreviation extract memory amount binary digit or bits B. The the abbreviation is B bits and it is one or zero byte. It is capital B eight bits. How many bits? Eight bits kilobyte kb or k it is 1.024 bytes it means 2 power 10 2 by power 10 megabyte in b you can see here the amount exact gigabyte and terabyte tv gig terabyte uh, gb gigabyte and mb megabyte okay and uh, I complete this uh, description with the correct unit or uh, unit of memory here are we have unit of memory and here we have the sent the sentences you can read the sentences and use these megabytes from 1 up to 10. Another uh, part that we have a PC system, this is section section uh, 5, a PC system, complete this diagram of a PC system, look at the unit 1 and 2 and 3 to help you. You can go to unit 1, unit 2 and unit 3 and you can get help from these three units PC, uh, PC system 1 uh, program graphic package web browser software 2 mechanic and electronic equipment that is hardware and like this 3 and 4 these are the answer keys here we have a listening and in this listening uh, you can uh, click on the loudspeaker symbol here uh, the loudspeaker picture here and you can uh, play from here and you may listen this voice after that explain the diagram he, a teacher explaining the diagram to her class and check your answer uh, your ideal computer system after that see here you can play and then listen to that voice okay here, uh, it, task uh, number six, your ideal computer system. Make notes about the feature of the computer that you would mm, that you would most like to have. Think about the feature in the box. CPU, speed, typical disk drive, uh, wireless connect connectivity minimum or maximum ram minimum ram maximum ram monitor parts of card memory slots hard disk software uh, use these kind of uh, expressions in your daily activities and in your notes uh, describe your ideal computer system give reason for your choice this is your homework please write a paragraph about this uh, part B. You can also these use this language useful language. For example, it's God. It's God. It means your computer has God. Has God how many RAMs? Oh, uh, uh, how is the capacity of uh, its hard disk? It's very fast. It turn out at uh, two minutes or three minutes standard ram memory is the standard ram memory is for example for eight eight gb and it's expandable up to 32 gbs the hard disk can hold 
can hold one TB of uh, data. Uh, I need a large, a large flat CD screen because I am going to teach in a class and I am going to watch HD films like this. As for the internet, as for the internet start, I use internet uh, and uh, it's very useful. And that is all for unit 3 and thanks for your attention. Uh, wish your successful life. Your question and comments are really being appreciated. Have a nice time.